again why am i giving this huge percentage to uh practicing now one thing you would realize is for some people that did not study per se when it comes to IELTS or maybe hired the service of an instructor and still made it if you check them the major thing they did and the only thing they did was to consistently practice not practice today practice in the next two days once a week no 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 Consist consistent practice every day now why is this the major one and i would really need you to pay attention to this so that you understand the logic behind this whole thing now many people are always struggling and always complaining about their low score their low performance when it comes to the ielts test and one of the major thing i have also discovered is many of them are lacking in the place of practice practice and also practicing the right way now, IELTS is a language, is a skill test, something testing your skill. Just that the skill we are testing has to do with language. Now, this applies to most of the skills we have all over the world. Now, this is something that skills basically improve when you do it over and over again. Why? Because it reveals your weakness, it reveals your strength. Think about it, the day you started a job or the day you started learning something, you'd actually realize that one of the things that would unravel itself each day is either your strength or your weakness, what you're doing right, what you're not doing right. So in the place of self-practice, you get to understand whatever it is you've been taught, whatever it is that you've studied, now you are having a hands-on experience. So self-study, helps to a very very large extent so when it comes to practicing for ielts even if you are going to ignore the the two things that i mentioned at the beginning of this video this is something that you can afford to ignore and when i mean practicing it's not just about uh practicing it's also about practicing the right way we have four sections of the ielts believe me by the time you write your exam the part that you paid least attention to will be the part you will have your lowest score. It is as simple as that. So you want to ensure that you give equal attention to all the four sections. Don't just, I know it's always sweet to practice listening, move to reading, but then you get to writing, you know, traffic jam will just jam, even speaking, you know, even see the, the destination. Like, Many people just practice the listening and the reading section and then they ignore the writing and speaking section. It shouldn't be that way. You need to practice all of them. Okay, because you are going to be tested on all of them. Now, another thing that um, self-practice actually do to you is the more you practice, the better you become. And now for anyone who has been practicing over and over again, you would all also realize that what you did yesterday by the time you want to do that thing today, it's better. Like you, even when it comes to IOTS, what you practice today, the more you do it, the more you do it, you see yourself improving. Okay, so trust me, self-practice has a whole lot of benefit. Perhaps in the future, I will do another video highlighting the benefits of how, of practicing, or like self-practicing, doing it by yourself, and also the right way to practice. Because trust me, there is a wrong way to practice, or there's also a right way to practice. So, I think I've come to the end of the video today, uh, but I am not going to leave without attaching that video of why I feel this um, equation of mine, like the 70%, 15% and all of that. Okay, so this is me trying to show you why I have apportioned those percentage to the three factors that I've discussed in this video. And uh, I hope you just try and follow with me as I analyze this. So I have decided to use the most recent, the latest IELTS material today, uh, which is Cambridge 18. As of today, this is the latest one. And the reason why I'm doing this is because even with the previous editions of the Cambridge IELTS uh, test book, it's still the same thing. So what I'm about to show you now is consistent with all of the Cambridge uh, material you'll come across. Now, this consistency is one of the reasons why I am super certain that um, 
you know, when it comes to you investing, whatever it is you're investing uh, in terms of energy, time and effort into the three things that I've discussed, this is the reason, one of the reasons actually that I believe that, you know, the, those percentage are like the real deal. So uh, just follow with me as I go on. Okay, so this is Cambridge 18. This is the academic version. Okay, if this were to be the general training, you wouldn't have it in purple, but you have it in green. But Moving away from this, so now you'll find out that after the first page, you have where you have the content, which is basic. And then this is what I want to draw your attention to. I said it the other time that when it comes to studying for IELTS, reading about the exam, that all you need is just about 15%. Now, I want you to take a look at this now. This is a material of how many pages now? 143 pages, okay? Now, how many pages is dedicated to explaining the what the ILTS exam entails explaining it okay that's what I want you to watch out for in this video so let's see how many of the pages of this 143 book uh the uh, page book that is dedicated to explaining what ILTS is so let's start from here so this is the first page talking about the introduction, how you can prepare for the exam, the test format, and so on, 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 and then all the way to this part here. So let's count it. This is page one, page two, page three, four, five, six. Six pages alone was dedicated to explaining what IOTS is. Now, if you move away from that, let's now go into where the real questions are. So this is a listening test. Like I said, uh, in each Cambridge book, you have four practice materials on all the four models. So this is test one. And then you keep going, you keep going all the way, all the way. And then you realize that most of the content of this book is basically about the questions, practice questions. The bulk of this book is dedicated to practice questions. And then we are still going all the way. I think we are on test four right now. Yes. And then, so you realize that this, the bulk of this book, and I think we are on page what right now? Page nine to seven. You realize that the bulk of this book is dedicated to the questions, the questions majorly. Okay, so that means there's a large emphasis on practicing. There's a huge emphasis on practicing. And how about the other 15% that, you know, I apportion to the teacher? Like I mentioned, the function of a tutor is basically to guide you, to help you evaluate what you've done, tell you if you're doing right, if you're doing wrong, basically make recommendations on how you can improve. Now, these are more like the audio script. We don't need all of that. And if you look at the part where the evaluation is being done, that's basically where you have the answers, which is the least from this part all the way to there are just about few pages and then all the way here and that is the that's it you find out that we don't even have so much of that and that's the end so this is one of the reasons why I believe that see we just have to sometimes ensure that we are doing the right thing in the right proportion so the for me, this basically buttressed my um, my points when I said, you know, 15% to studying, 15% to, you know, getting a tutor to guide you, all right? And the remaining 70% boils down to you practicing yourself. And I believe that the way the Cambridge material has been designed for that solidify my stance I think this is the part where I say, I hope I've been able to convince and not confuse you. <laughs> but anyway, I believe you, you get the gist of what I'm trying to drive at. Beyond that, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you've been able to pick a thing or two from everything that I have mentioned. Please, if you actually watch till this point, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video, share with your friends. You know, I would always say it sometimes you actually don't know who is writing ielts just share my video before you know it now you just said that your family member have gone to the abroad so please you never can tell so just keep sharing when they ask you why did you share this video it's because i don't know your mind 
you might be preparing for IELTS and I'm not sure. So please share my video to everyone. I believe that um, they would also find it useful. All right. On that note, God willing, I would see you in my next video with some more information on IELTS or maybe something else. Bye for now. <laughs>